Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing a carbon clean on our Diana saw today. I'm going to use this trusty machine that I've used in the previous video and I'm going to be using this machine to actually do the hydrogen carbon clean. The car that I'm using is a B7 Audi RS4, it's my own car. I'm kind of getting it all back up to speed, I don't really use it too much. And I'll go into a bit of detail when I actually set this up, but this car is notorious for carbon build up. So this little experiment is uh, going to be interesting to see how much impact, if any, it has on here. After this video, I am going to actually take the inlet off, get it cleaned properly, and we'll see if it's had any impact. So yeah, let's do it. Right guys, so we're going to do the MPG test that I normally do on every review. 60 miles an hour, 10 miles. We're going to then take that average, go back, do the carbon clean and then repeat that test. So that'll be one measure of testing it. And then of course we'll use that machine to look at if it has any impact on the emissions. Right guys, so really important thing about using this probe is you want it to be as airtight as possible. So on this particular car, I'm going to undo this, insert this in there, and then tighten it back up. And it'll be nice and clean, it'll be air sealed. Because you don't want any of the hydrogen escaping, you want as, many of it, as much of it to go into the intake as possible. The science behind it, I've covered it in, in some of my other videos, is the hydrogen burns a lot easier than air. So the theory behind it is in a direct injection like this, whatever you do on the fuel system is not going to make any kind of difference because normally the valves are washed with fuel. Here the valves are dry, there's nothing to wash the carbon off it. So in theory, 
putting the hydrogen through the air intake should allow it to burn a bit cleaner and it should clean up some of that carbon. Personally, I don't think it's going to be anywhere near as good as taking the inlet off on this. And like I said before, we'll cover that in another video. It will actually be interesting to see after we've done this clean how much carbon is actually in the intake and if it has any impact on the other tests that we've done. I'll do a proper analysis and put it up on the screen in a minute. But it looks like it's reduced it quite a lot. It was averaging around 40 something earlier on. Right guys, so carbon clean is done. We're going to go on the motorway, we're going to repeat that experiment and see if it, there's a difference. Uh, we hit 32 mpg earlier on. There's only been about a couple of hours difference. The temperature, rain, all of that is uh, the same. It's not raining, it's dry. So well, let's see if it's had any kind of impact. Miles per gallon has gone up to 33.5, it was at 32 earlier on, so it doesn't sound like much, but it's around 4%. So keen to get back to the garage, put the emissions machine back on, and look at the hydrocarbons to see if it's had any change there. The car feels a bit different, but that could just be a placebo effect in my mind from actually doing the clean. So yeah, let's see what the numbers say. Right guys, so... Um, on the screen I'm going to put up a summary of the changes but you can see that the MPG has gone up very slightly the hydrocarbons have come down quite a bit so it is having some sort of effect the car felt a bit different but you know like I said earlier that could be placebo this shows it is working it is doing something so thanks for watching if you're new to the channel consider subscribing give the video a like share it with family and friends and I'll see you in the next video